All right, guys, definitely been neglecting this thing, so let's actually do something today. I'm gonna start sounding and finally get some work done and hopefully get this thing closer to wrap. So I'm gonna take the front bumper and the rear bumper off, um, but the rear bumper is actually probably one of the only parts that I don't think I've ever taken off the car. So, gotta break out the old manual. Vigor, what the hell is that? Why do I love it so much? Rust. Uh, weight savings, right? So, I guess, yeah, uncovered a little bit more rust. Like, obviously I knew that these rear quarter panels were the only pieces left that we really had to do uh, in terms of like visual rust on the body um, and we knew that we had to take the bumper off to do that and I was expecting to see more there so that is no surprise even though you know it sucks but we'll get that sorted out and get that fixed up it's like that on both sides but the other main point of like why I wanted to get both the bumpers off, especially the front one, is just because then it's easier to go over like all of this completely. I'll probably sand it down like completely, get rid of all the paint because it's actually you can tell the bumper was resprayed once already um, because it was this like gray color before, and obviously the new paint was not done very well or even sanded because I can literally still see that paint under there. Uh, so it was just, it was resprayed over, kind of a shitty job and yeah. So we'll sand that all down and get that like perfect. These things, I'll probably get these little tab things out and bondo that smooth. When I changed the grill before, I had to like actually cut these pieces to to fit the other style of grill. Um, but now I'm back to the first grill. So I'll just uh, like Bondo or body filler or something and kind of reshape that corner in there nicely. Then we'll just continue on the body. Um, probably I'll just continue that tomorrow because I have some other things I gotta do tonight. But the beauty of post video editing is that we will uh, do that now. Wow, look at that. It's the next day already. I don't think I'll ever need to rock a front license plate, so these holes will just get covered up after this all gets sanded. some 80 grit sandpaper right now, so we'll see how that goes.
really hate is when people chew and talk at the same time, food in their mouth. You know, I don't really hate that. sanding and I don't even have the front bumper done <laughs> so this stuff takes a long time but as you can see like I've done some body filler and stuff and uh, I had cut these corners before to fit the grill like I mentioned so getting those shaped back and it actually came pretty good like that side's done. I just have a bit more sanding on this side to finish. Um, and then just like some other spots, filled in those front license plate holes and fixed the crack that was here. And basically once I finish all this, this is with 80 grit. Then we'll go to probably like 120 grit, I think. And then I still have to figure out if it's best to like prime it and sand it again with like a finer grit sandpaper before we wrap. So we'll go from there. And this process is gonna repeat across the entire car. So all the little divots and stuff along the doors, sides of the car, front and the rear bumper. Um, it's just gonna be this. <laughs> so I probably won't put in a Put out another video until after this is all done and like maybe some like final prep and then the next thing after that is going to be wrapped so we'll probably just end this one here and we'll catch you guys in the next video